Hi everyone, this is a uh, demonstration of a claim by a YouTube user called ePower Plus and his claim is that if you use a brass uh, rod, in my case I use just a brass tube here, um, and you put an insulator around where I've just used uh, black electrical tape and then you wind a copper mag magnetic wire over on top there and you follow his schematic instructions which is using a bridge rectifier so it's the hot of the AC grid that uh, connects to the copper tubing but there's an insulation happening between the uh, the actually the sorry the brass uh, pipe or rod and uh, so there's no contact happening but one would think that it's basically going to be a transformer but the interesting part is he only connects uh, one side of the uh, copper coil winding the other side is just uh, not connected so that would go to one side of the AC on the bridge rectifier and the other side of the AC of the bridge rectifier I've got it connected to the uh, to the uh, ground of the home, and that's that lead there. So it's only utilizing the the hot of the uh, electrical uh, grid, and he claims that if you do this uh, in this particular way, um, that the uh, there there'll be no uh, charge for the uh, electrical use from the uh, grid. Uh, basically no amp draw on that and he's claiming it is free energy um, and his load is attached on the DC side of the bridge so what I've done is I've got a load here coming which is just one LED I didn't do his the coils as long as he has in his demonstration but all it's going to do is the, the shorter length is just going to give you less power so uh, I've got two meters attached here and uh, this one is a brand new meter and I know it's very accurate and I've got it on microamps, AC microamps so I can measure uh, very accurately. Uh, right now I'm on a uh, 200 microamp scale so it's 0 to 200, very accurate. and. Uh, it is already connected to the tube but the load isn't connected yet and it's already showing that we're using uh, 8 microamps. Uh, very small uh, I would say but um, anyways you'll see what happens here once the load is connected and this meter here is attached to the load so the DC side is going through this meter and that's also on the 2000 microamp DC microamp setting so this one will display how many how much energy is going to feed this load the LED and this one will show how much energy um, is taken from the AC grid and the claim is is nothing is taken from the AC grid so here you go I'll connect my make my connection and it's just putting the other side of the lead of the DC side here to put my load and look at the meters here I go here's my load and there you go we're consuming 109 milliamps on the DC to barely light the LED and we're also consuming 122.3 uh, milliamps on the AC grid there is no free energy of this circuit, uh, that's for sure. I just disconnected the load, and here you go. There's the LED. You can barely see this LED. I'd have to turn the lights out uh, for you to see it uh, on. So there you go. There's the meters. There's the load. I'll disconnect it. Meters are back close to zero. Load connected. So there is no uh, bypass of the uh, AC uh, using this circuit configuration 
uh, it's acting pretty much like a transformer. So I thought I'd post that and uh, inform people uh, not to invest uh, time and money in this. And uh, I would ask for E uh, Power Plus to remove this in a video. Uh, in his video, he is not utilizing uh, meters uh, to demonstrate that there is nothing consumed. He's just making this claim. So uh, thanks for watching and. Uh, We'll talk to you later. Bye.